What's up guys, I'm always here and got a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today we are talking about our matchup Sunday against the Seattle Seahawks. This is a big game, it means a lot for us. If we can win this game, it almost solidifies we're number one in the division. Because even though we're still number one now, we're only one game ahead of the New York Giants. So... It's a huge game, and the problem is we don't know who's playing quarterback. Is it Dwayne? Is it Alex? Nobody knows. It's basically a 50-50 coin toss. Um, luckily, we have a little bit of a good history when it comes to going into playing against Seattle um, beat up. You know, this is a home game, not at Seattle, because if you remember back in 2018, no, 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 2017, because Kirk was our quarterback then, we played Seattle, and... Beat up. We only had 45 players dressed. That's less than the normal game average of players that are dressed out for a game. And we won thanks to, you won't believe it, a Josh Doxson play. It's crazy. If you don't believe me, go look up the go look up the highlights. I mean, trust me, it amazes me too whenever I watch it. But you know, it was an absolutely fun game to watch. I was actually traveling back home that day from California, so I only caught bits and pieces of it. And um, when we were picking up our car from the uh where they hold our car, we were in California, I, the name just vacates me, um, Will Compton, well we were just um, leaving and they were moving down the field and Seattle just gotten back the ball. We were getting in our vehicle, putting the bags in, about to head off, the guy from inside the office runs, knocks on our door and he says, hey, he says, hey, hey, you're a Washington fan, right? I'm like, yeah. He said, he said oh, they just intercepted it. And I'm like, what? And it was Will Compton. You know, that was a fun game, so I watched it all the way back home on my phone, and that was really fun, and then we got home right when that ending drive was happening, and oh, that was beautiful. It was a, it's a fun game to go back and rewatch in the highlights. Um, hopefully, I can go back someday and rewatch the whole game, because I think, because I miss it, and I really would like to see what the whole game looked like, and especially that crazy two-point play where we intercepted it, DJ Swanger intercepted it, then he tossed it to Norman, and they were trying to make it back. It was really good. But anyway, that's talking about the last time we're talking about this time. What's going on into this game? Well, the Seattle Seahawks are playing pissed. They are they lost some games they really should not have. And they um and they just beat the Jets. I mean they beat the brakes off the Jets, but that means not crap in the season. To beat a real team you have to um you know, they're, they're playing pistol. They really want to say, hey, we're in the playoffs and we're going to compete. Here's the thing. You're going to that poor offensive line that's going up against the number one D-line in football. I mean, let's face it. We are the number one D-line in football with Montez, Chase, Ryan, uh, Deron, Jonathan. And to, and don't forget, just because he's out for a season, do not forget Matt Ioannidis. I feel like people are kind of forgetting that he's part of that group. Just because he's hurt doesn't mean he's not part of the group. So, you know, keep some space for him at the at the um dinner table but uh yeah um uh, they're gonna wreck them i don't I, I i'll be honest with you i see us winning this game because of our defense they bailed us out last week they bailed us out a bunch of weeks and this and i think our offense is going to produce this week either Dwayne or alex i think this is the game where it's okay if um no matter what because seattle's defense is so bad and a lot of their players are hurt going into this game so some of the key players are going to be a little banged up going in so like Carlos Dunlap and Jamal Adams is a full participant in practice but he's still hurt with a groin injury and there's other players that are dealing with small stuff and small stuff adds up and if it's going to be cold like it's been this week here because Washington's only a couple hours away so their weather's essentially the same as ours for the most part um if if you got an injury, it's gonna hurt ten times worse Sunday in that cold weather, and I think, you know, they're playing out of steam, and I think we're just gaining steam, and I think we're gonna win our fifth game in a row. I don't think it's gonna be big. I think it's gonna be still a close game because we don't win huge games by a lot. And Seattle's a good team. You got Russell Wilson. You're, he's not gonna make it easy for you. Uh, but I think we can disrupt him. The thing to beat Russell Wilson is make him uncomfortable. And there's no way he's gonna be comfortable when you got our front four going after him because uh, we were watching a game last night we were talking about you know the Raiders are rushing everybody to gain pressure and you know, they had to run five or six just to at the quarterback just to make him feel a little rushed we had to rush four I mean even three for us can probably cause pressure so running four is just like 
all right, you're, we're going to be in your face. And that O-line has not ever been good. And it's been better this year, but I think they're still playing out of steam. I think we had the upper hand going into the week in this game. So, I mean, our defense has done awesome. We lost the shades that were We only have three active safeties. Uh, Troy Apke and Cam, Cameron Curl are going to be starting. Um, expect if, some, if someone gets hurt. we got uh, Jeremy Reeves, but... Prepare for Kendall Fuller to go back there because he played corner when he was in Kansas City, and he has some experience at that position. So, and I think Moreau and Darby can handle the outside. Moreland handles the inside. We get Danny Johnson some in there a little bit too. I think we'll be okay. I I think it's a it's it is something to worry about, but it's not like a crazy thing to worry about. I'm not going to have Antonio Gibson because we did sign Lamar Miller this week. Uh, good solid um, back you know he's been good for a lot of years he always busts out a big run wherever he is so I'm hoping he'll bust out another big run um, I doubt he'll get a whole lot of um, touches but on um, the few touches he gets I think he'll make an impact certainly uh, expe I expect Terry McLaurin to have a big game expect Cam Sims to have a good game Logan Thomas to have a good game a lot of receivers I would expect to have a pretty good game this week uh, O-line just needs to keep going keep fighting Whew, it's a lot of questions going to the game. Like, what's going to happen to safety? Who's going to be quarterbacking? And we don't know. And it's kind of a thrill going into Sunday. No, um, we don't know. It's a worry and it's excitement at the same time. But I think it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good win. They're going to be. Um, and all right, I'm going to get shot for saying this. Um, ESPN on Get Up the other day, they were talking about a Washington Super Bowl window opens next season. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, why not this season? Why not? We won four straight, which is hard to do for any team. We beat, we obliterated Dallas. Now, not to give them any credit, but we still, but the fact that we obliterated them, I think it's enough. Uh, we beat the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, granted, you can say whatever you want about how they were playing. At the end of the day, they were 11 and 0 going into the game, and they lost to us. And we beat the 49ers, who beat the Rams, who are top of the NFC West. They swept them with the injured team they have. So don't go into this game thinking that's going to be an easy win, but don't think it's going to be necessarily a hard game either. I think we can handle them. I think we can handle them. J.D. McKissick's going to have a good game. I expect Peyton Barber to really get some touches. I think they're really going to want to keep the ball out of Russell's hands. So expect J.D. and um, Peyton and probably Lamar, too, to get a lot of touches in this game. Uh, hope to see just the online do good. Protect Dwayne, protect Alex, give either of them plenty of time in the pocket. Defense just needs to hit it all similar like they've been doing for the past couple weeks. Front four needs to attack. Linebackers need to hit the right gaps or make sure they're covering the right guy, right running back, tight ends. And the safeties and the cornerbacks just got to do what they do and uh, get the ball back to our offense and make sure the receivers don't get it. And we got our hands full. Coming up this week, I think Chris Carson is back. They got Carlos High. They got. DK Metcalf, they got Tyler Lockett, they got DJ Moore. They have targets. This is not going to be an easy game. And he has a tight end that's name is just, I'm, I'm just losing. I can't remember what his name is. It's just lose, lost me this second. But they have a good team. And on the defense, they got Shaquille Griffin, Carl Dunlap if he plays, Jamal Adams, Bobby Wagner. These are high level skill guys. It's just not going to be an easy game. But can we win? Yes. I believe we will win? Yes. This is the this is the game of the season right here. This game can decide our season. Because I don't see anybody else in our division winning this weekend. We got the Browns against the Giants. Cowboys and the Eagles are playing two teams that I like losing. I'm like, oh, they're going to get, they're going to lose. I can't remember off the top of my head which teams they are. I just know that I looked at it and I'm like, oh, okay. They're probably going to lose. But I mean, you don't know after the Saints game, but you know, we'll see. So, let's go into this game. Uh, super excited. I'm, I'm hyped. If you're not hyped, then I don't know what you're doing because you should be hyped. Hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out the rest of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Uh, make sure to check out all the links down below. Make sure to check out my Patreon. Every little bit helps. My Will Morris merch store. Still working on some Washington Station merch that's legal for me to put out there due to copyright issues. And yeah, hope you have a great day. And I'll catch you on Monday for a recap. I'm a Morrison. I'm out. Peace.